If you love cold brew coffee, like really love it, you might want to find a way to make it at home. But how do you know which cold brew maker to go with? We can help with that. I'm Mike. I've had three cups of coffee in my life. And I'm Jeremy. I'm working on my third cup of coffee of the day. And I brew cold brew at home all the time. And we're gonna help you find the right cold brew coffee maker for you. And if you're not a convert by the end, stick around and we'll show you how to make iced coffee in 90 seconds. All right, Jeremy, what do you like about cold brew? I just like the taste. That's really what it comes down to for me. Um, it kind of pulls out flavors and nuances of coffee uh, more than hot coffee does. Okay, I have to ask, are you a coffee snob? I wouldn't say I'm a coffee snob. There's definitely people who are snobbier than me. I enjoy having Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks from time to time, but I really like good coffee. Nothing wrong with that. All right, what is our first cold brew coffee maker? All right, we're gonna start with Brewer, which right off the bat, it's got a great elegant design. It looks really nice on your countertop. And the way this makes coffee, it actually uses a drip method, which is really similar to a lot of hot coffee. Um, you put in this case, ice water up at the top chamber, and then it drips through your coffee grounds and then collects in the bottom. It takes about four hours because it's cold water, it's not hot water, uh, but it's, it's pretty easy to set up. So why would you choose Brewer? So there's a couple of reasons. Because it's a drip method, you don't really have to worry about the coffee steeping too long in water. And then also it's customizable. How is that? Yeah, so this little spout here, you can actually rotate it. And depending on that, it controls the drip rate, which, in essence could control the flavor. The faster the drip rate might produce different flavors coming out of that coffee. So who is this cold brew coffee maker for? Well, this is a pretty advanced cold brew maker. I'd really say this is for the connoisseur mm. of cold brew making. The snobs. Yeah. Okay, what cold brew maker is up next? Well, when we talk about cold brew, we basically are talking about two methods of making coffee. You've got this drip method we talked about with the brewer, and then you've got immersion method, which is like steeping tea. The coffee sits in the water. Uh, it's more approachable, but it can also be a little messier process. So how do you get around that? Well, you get a coffee maker that kind of already has thought about that part, and that's what the Asobu has done. This looks like it's a cold brew maker from the year 2052. Yes, <laughs> it looks very futuristic, uh, but a lot of that is because it has these really interesting features. So to start, the way you brew is you put the coffee grounds in this cone up top, and then you fill that with water. And then when you're ready to filter, you press this button up front. When you push it, all that brewed coffee flows down into this carafe, which doubles as a travel mug. Okay. So who is this cold brew maker for? Well, this is a really great cold brew maker for commuters. So what if you wanna make cold brew at home, but you're hesitant to commit to a full-fledged system? Yeah, we've got a great product. It's called Brew, and it's got pieces you might already have at home. Yeah, this looks like two giant mason jars with a dual-threaded filter in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it's that dual-threaded filter with this straw that's really the important part here. So you're brewing the coffee same way you would have with a Sobu, and then when you're ready to filter it, you actually just flip it over, and the straw acts as a siphon and sends that filtered coffee out into the clean jar and it's ready to drink. The wonders of science. So who is this cold brew coffee maker for? Well, because it's so simple, this is the best beginner cold brew maker. So all of these cold brew makers are great for an individual batch of cold brew, but what if you wanted to make an entire week's worth? Well, for that, I would turn to Willow and Everett. Uh, it uses the same brewing process, the steeping method, but it's got this much larger cone. So you can fill that up with coffee grounds, add water. You can actually put this whole thing right in your fridge. It's designed to fit in there. And then when you're ready to filter out, you just remove that cone and you've got eight to 12 cups of coffee in there. It's good for a week. It's got this great spout in the front that's easy to dispense from. It's really convenient that way. That is nice. So who is this for? I'd say this is for anyone who wants to make a big batch of cold brew. All right, let's say I've watched the whole video. I'm still not convinced. Cold brew's too strong. I like iced coffee, but hey, I'm always up to learn how to make it better. Yeah, we still got a great product. It's called Cold Wave. Ooh, okay. So this is really a, just a carafe, but it has this frozen insert inside. So you actually remove that insert, 
toss it in the freezer for a few hours, let it freeze. Then you can pour hot coffee right into this carafe, uh, add the insert back in. It's gonna make this cracking noise, but that means it's working. And that will actually cool down that hot coffee in about 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Yep. And it's not gonna dilute it either. What's really cool about this is it's, it's just a pitcher, so you could put anything in here, whiskey, wine, juice even if you want to cool it down quickly. Well, that's great. So who is this for? Well, this one's very traditionalist. I'd say this is for someone who wants cold coffee, but not cold brew. Thank you, Jeremy. I for one have learned so much. Uh, hopefully you're well on your way to being a cold brew connoisseur, or at the very least, just drinking tastier iced coffee. We'll see you next time. Can I have a sip of that? Sure. So cold. <laughs>